Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is a channel for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just click on the link in the description box below this video, and that will take you to my booking site. I am running a special for the month of March. Uh, please do hit like, share, and subscribe, and if you're new, welcome. I hope that you enjoy the reading. And hello everyone in the chat all right let's get into your reading Virgo and see what the messages are going on here for you Virgo Sun moon rising and Venus or Venus okay the golden mirror self-absorbed <laughs> narcissist one-sided relationship love bombing what the heck okay well the card came out there you go so somebody's looking at themselves in the mirror a lot. <laughs> um, I, you just kind of love when the reading starts off with the narcissist, but here you go. Some of you um, have experienced a one-sided relationship, somebody love bombing you, um, sending you a whole hell of a lot of messages, communication, um, really going overboard now you might be already feeling this with someone or this energy could be playing out coming up for you okay um there's a sense of feeling like being in a one-sided relationship all right let's just see what else is going on here okay healing heart from that healing from that healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction okay so this is this is it's straight to the point all right this is your energy you are healing from a narcissistic relationship or someone who was just very self self-absorbed maybe they were just their traits just very narcissistic in their traits or it was just very one-sided you were giving and giving and somebody was taking and taking and i see you here healing from all of this and getting your freedom back okay from some type of yeah a toxic unhealthy addictive relationship okay let's see not enough frustrated lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues and jealousy so you know somebody made you feel that way that you weren't enough for them and i feel like you're 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 out of this you are done that's it no shit stains singles a pringle you're keeping it moving whoever you were connecting with in the past this person ironically isn't it ironic that i'm hearing this person loved bombed you love bombed you so much yet at the same time made you feel like you weren't worthy how did somebody do that to you virgo how did somebody go all out telling you um they want to marry you they want to move in they want to be together you're the love of their life all this stuff and yet at the same time manage to make you feel like you weren't good enough for them that's what i really feel like this energy is here either i don't you know what this doesn't feel like somebody new coming in i feel like if this if i know a lot of my virgos here especially here on my channel if somebody's coming in with that love bombing energy you're already like whoa major red flag so i feel like you'll be able to cut it nip it in the bud but i, I feel like this is a past thing honestly um I don't know why I say honestly. It's more like the the strongest of the message coming through. This is a past relationship that you were healing from. Somebody gave you backhanded compliments. That might have been part of their tactic. So it feels like they would tell you, you look great in that dress um, if you're female or if you wear dresses. You look great in that dress um, even, it, even the even if you've only lost 10 pounds that's an example of a backhanded compliment you know what i mean it's like saying something nice and then but but finding a way to devalue within the compliment and i feel like there was somebody here the reason why this person um did that was because they lacked confidence they were a self-sabotager their intent was to just destroy um, they had fear and ego issues and this person was jealous of you 
and that's why they did what they did. It's like they wanted to have you there, but they were jealous of you. It's very bizarre, very jealous of you. Um, if you were a male, this person, you know, they would have told you you look nice in, in what you're wearing, but, um, you know, that haircut doesn't go with uh, your outfit. <laughs> You know what I mean? That kind of thing. It's just like a um, a way to compliment and devalue at the same time. I don't like that. But I do like that you're healing. I do like that you are mending your heart at this time. Because this was a very toxic relationship. Okay. And those are just examples that I gave you there. Um, some of you may not resonate with that. But they're just examples. Part of this person's love bombing and the reason why you didn't feel like you were good enough is because they were fake with their compliments and their appraisal, right? And somehow, I feel like some of you, after this person would do that, would kind of like question your question and be like, wait, wait, did this person, you know, did they just insult me at the same time as they were complimenting me? And for others, it was kind of like they gave you all this love and then they withdrew to make you feel like you weren't worthy of any more. So it was like intermittent reinforcements, intermittent love that was praise, devalue, praise, devalue. What a shit stain. <laughs> what a shit stain. All right, but you're healing, Virgo. So this is good. This is good. Let's take a look and see what the energy is for you coming up here. We're not even going to look at this person. We're not even going to look. We don't want. We're That's it. You're done. And there's nothing here to look back on. There's nothing here to see if this person is going to heal, if this person is changing. Who gives a shit, right? Just keep it moving. Let's see what's going on here with you. We're going to take a look at you. Oh, Okay, you've got the Tower, and you've got the Nine of Swords. This is really tough for you guys. You're healing, but man, you're really going through it. Somebody here is going through it. The Four of Cups. <gasps> Page of Swords. Um, hmm. Virgo, what the hell? You know, and I'm, I'm like, this, okay, so it, it, I'm trying to steer the reading, but Spirit's telling me this is what, this is like this, at the energy, I don't know whose energy this is. This tower is like, I'm seeing love bombing, but I'm seeing bombing here with this tower. Okay, destruction, anxiety apathy, indifference to love, um, gossiping, um, jeez, I don't feel like, I don't know if this is you, this, this could be your energy, Virgo, where you're kind of like really stressed out here, you're, you're healing, but man, you're really stressed out, you're having trouble sleeping, you're having some anxiety, um, I just heard, tell Virgo to give it to God, God will take care of everything, I just heard of that, I just heard that, um, it's like you're even right now kind of indifferent to new love. Um, but also, I mean, you're still healing, of course. But also, this person, I'm going to tell you right now, um, this person is going to be, if you're in separation from them, um, if you're freeing yourself, freeing yourself is actually cause, it's going to cause this person, going to keep trying to um reel you back in they're spying on you i feel like that you completely like broke the like you just destroyed this relationship you know i mean you dropped a major bomb or you're dropping a major bomb on somebody here you're just taking them out this tower card that's the crown chakra that's being destroyed you some of you exposed somebody or you said something to somebody and you, you really like went off or you're going off on this person or you just completely like brought the house down, you brought the hammer down, you, you just, you did something. You're stressing about it though. I see a lot of anxiety here. I see you with this four of cups. 
I feel like this person, it's going to be a surprise. They're going to come back in and try to reach out to you. They're watching you. They're, they're, they're spying on you. All right. So here's the message just for all this, what's going on here. This person that you're healing from, that you're trying to get away from, uh, I have to tell you, this person does not like that you have left, I'm hearing. Um, and that's just too effing bad, but it seems like this person is going to be back. They're going to try to find wise, ways to get in contact with you, okay? And I just feel like you need to know that um, and to reject any offer that comes in. Because look at that, that's the Ace of Cups. Okay, so that's like one big fat love bomb right there. Um, reject. Don't look at it. Don't read the message. Don't pick up the phone. Uh, don't tap out. You destroyed something here for a reason. You're going through this anxiety. Some of you might be through this process where it's so difficult for you that you want to talk to this person because you want it. To, you want to relieve some of the pressure, but. I don't see okay so so we have the star it came out in the reverse Aquarian energy we have Scorpio energy here um, I feel like like hope is lost here you know there's maybe it's a sense of depression or this you see this person as being very arrogant and um oh there's even something here with impotence i'm not really sure what that is but being ignored I, that's what i feel like is going on here this person um they feel like you're ignoring them and and you are <laughs> you are like i see you you're stressing it's really hard i feel like this person going to reach out to you and it's going to be like cause you a lot of anxiety somehow they're going to find a way it, it doesn't mm. I don't know if it feels to this point where it's getting kind of scary because it's like, are you kidding? Um, you ended something, you're moving on, you're trying to heal, and then they pop up again. You know, um, I almost feel like I want to tell you to just don't tap out. Don't, if you know this is your story and you know that this relationship is very toxic and it's, you know, this might be um, a continuation of the reading I did, not yesterday, not the last one, but the one prior. Um, where I was saying this pe person was going to try to reach out. I feel like this message here is for you. I mean, if you need to like go off the radar or disappear or change your phone number or move or relocate or do something, go into witness protection, I don't know. Oh my goodness, they're throwing cards at me. Look at this. The Three of Swords. King of Swords in the reverse. This is like a silent manipulator, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, all these reversals, my goodness. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse, not reciprocating. Um, the Ace of Swords in the reverse. This is like delaying any kind of communication. Um, mental blocks, blocking this person out mentally, okay? Uh, a lot of stress here. You've got the Page of Cups in the reverse and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So um, this feels like a very immature energy. There's someone who's very bratty and immature, you know, like I said, immature, immature um, very dependent, codependent on you. This is, you know, if you're dealing with a narcissist, they're very codependent because they're manipulating or coercing. Um, and that Ace of Wands, again, this is like rejection. Uh, false start, delays, brutality. So, man, you know what? This person, I'm just going to tell you right now, you, if you know this to be your story, you got to keep, you got to keep on keeping on and get away from this, this energy. Okay. You got to just keep away from this energy because I don't feel like this person is going to stop reaching out to you. I feel like they're going to keep trying. This person is obsessed. They're obsessed with you. Okay? Totally obsessed. <clears throat> and I don't see them being willing to let you go. And I'm sorry that you're going through this. 
um, this heartbreak or this struggle. I know some of you are coming to the end of it. Some of you are just starting to get into this energy where you're trying to break free. And you really need a lot of support and help around you at this time. And hopefully these messages will help you in some way if you were dealing with someone like that. But let's try to let's try to see what a brighter future ahead you have. Because I believe that you know you have to get rid of all that old energy. This person is not going to stop reaching out to you. They're just not. And they'll wait. And they will patiently wait. If you reject them, you know, if, if you want to hold on to a narcissist, the best way to do that is to reject them. They'll go away for a while and find another source or someone else to do this to. But when other people, they just bounce around like a pinball. And then they make their way back around to you again. All right, let me see. What are your love messages here? Getting to know each other. Okay, you may be meeting somebody. This could be the one. Okay. Hmm. Some of you might already have a connection or you're already talking to somebody. Okay. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Um, you might have met this person and there might not be, you might not even realize that you've met them. Um, but you, I feel like going through the rest of this month, you will meet someone. There will be an energy um, to communicate and to talk to someone and get to know somebody. And we're going to look and see who this person, okay, got deception. Hmm. All right. So this is basically like you're not revealing everything. Um, somebody that I feel like you're going to start getting to know or talk to. Um, you're, I don't see you really opening yourself up and speaking on what you just went through, okay, with someone. You're definitely going to be, I don't want to say it's a false self mask, but it's more like a protective type of mask, okay, because you've been through a lot. You're not opening up fully. You're not rushing in with anyone. You're not going to just be completely vulnerable and tell somebody everything. You are going to come in guarded with this person. Okay, but there is an energy here. This could be the this could be the right one for you. But let's take a look and see what the energy is with this person. Okay. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like this person, um, very lonely. They're by themselves. They may have been married in the past or they were, or there's a family, they've left home, or they've just recently moved, or they had to sell their house, maybe there was a foreclosure. I'm feeling like there was some kind of breakup or conflict with the family situation. This person is like separated or divorced, and now they're on their own. They may have just moved out of um, a home that they were living in with some family members or friends, something along those lines. Something just kind of fell apart. So there may be a little bit of communication between two people where this person tells you just a, a little bit of what's going on with them. You'll recognize that. Okay. And they're rebuilding. Three Pentacles. This person, I feel, wow, I feel like this person went through a similar situation, but neither one of you is really going to speak on that just yet because there's a fear you know um so as far as like speaking on it, i mean going into depth like yeah somebody might say yeah i'm recently out of a relationship but not go into the details of why and what happened not right away okay so i feel like there's this person that you're going to be connecting with and i will give you some clarifiers so you can see maybe who it is and when but i feel like this person you're going to be meeting is really just rebuilding their life gaining the skills again to just get started um, carving out a new path for themselves here. Let me see what else. Okay. Uh, justice. So they're definitely um, going through some legal stuff. Um, like I was saying, there could be some financial stuff that they're going through right now, tying up some loose ends, trying to sell a house. The house might be empty or there was a foreclosure. Um, so the justice means that law, the law is involved or there's legalities involved, okay, with this person. They may work. Also, they could work in law or in anything to do with law. It could be law enforcement. It could be um, um, the courts. They could work in the, a position in the courts. Um, anything to do with legalities and law, okay? Libra energy as well. 
<laughs> yeah, and the person they were with um, in the past or whoever they're separating from. I don't know exactly if this is a love relationship. It could have been a marriage or whichever. Queen of Swords in the reverse. I'm feeling Libra and energy, but in the reverse. So this person, very cold, um, rigid, dishonest, a liar, very unkind. I feel like you're the person that you're going to meet, there's a bond um, that develops between two people at some point between you and this person because you both have gone through a very similar thing, dealing with a very, like a con person, okay? Con artist, possibly someone who's very high on the narcissistic trait scale thing, you know? I don't know how you're gonna meet this person though, let's see. Oh, okay, they're just telling me, out at an outdoor cafe or a coffee shop or uh, a restaurant <laughs> okay all right yeah so seven of pentacles in the reverse okay so this person i feel like um who they were with like they put in so much work and effort into this relationship and they got nothing out of it um does that resonate for you that it's like wow that's kind of the same thing that you went through like that's how your bond deepens because there's a recognition like two people you and this person once you begin talking and getting to know each other you find your similarities are uncanny um you almost question if your person and their person was related because the way they treated you and them uh it's just very horribly horrible okay so there's like a bond that gets formed and that really that bond deepens as time goes by but i see both of you kind of being very you know guarded at first when you first meet each other all right um let me get some clarifiers here to see All right, show us the Ten of Pentacles. Show Virgo the Ten of Pentacles energy here. Okay. Yeah, so... I feel like this person planned, made a, made a planned escape, a planned getaway to get out of the situation that they were in. They planned the whole thing out ahead of time. They had it in the works to get away from whoever this person was that they were connected to or attached to, maybe even married to. Um, the whole thing was planned. They've gotten themselves away from it. So when you meet this person, I do feel like they're like, they may have some loose ends that are still being tied up, but I don't feel like they are cohabiting and that they are with this person, uh, the one you're gonna meet. So Sagittarian energy here. So. This person is really rebuilding their lives, um, getting their peace of mind back. Um, and I feel like you're in the same situation. You're in the same boat. You're in the same position where you're getting your peace of mind back. Oh, they just showed me now the star and they're upright here. Okay. So definitely renewal and hope coming back uh, that you both will find when you meet each other. There's like a sense of promise here um there's like a light to follow now a source of light and healing aquarian energy okay yeah defenses are down this person's done fighting for the wrong things done fighting for the wrong things this person is like i'm not fighting for this kind of thing anymore um they may have a child or you know if they're older maybe grandchild or or um you know, offspring or something that they're helping with school as well. But the seven of wands in the reverse, it's basically like their energy here is, um, even though the plans, like they refuse to quit, they want to quit sometimes. Sometimes it's really difficult for them. You know, um, they make plans and sometimes things don't fall through, but they keep 
chipping away. They keep chipping away. They have a very strong resolve. Okay, I just want to tell you that. Very strong resolve. They've been through a lot. They understand, you know, uh, there's a connection between the two of you where it's like you guys understand each other. Y you know that no matter how hard you try, you, you, you can't get fixed on the outcome. You just have to keep chipping away, chipping away, and hope for the best, right? Um, let me see what this legal thing is, this person. Okay. Hmm. Well, <laughs> There is an energy of, I always feel with the nine of wands that there's like some kind of suspicion. This person is very, um, they're in, I see them like in their corner with like their lawyer, um, doing what they need to do. And I guess whoever they're opposing is in their corner with their lawyer, the, the battle, there's still some stuff going on okay but you know this is just a part of life it could be a, a, a custody thing it could be um you know the le legal divorce or there's maybe there was a business they had or a partnership they had together and that's dissolving and there's financial legal issues to take care of let me see this queen of swords oh yeah there you go a person here with seven of swords sneaky betrayal deceit dishonest um running away this person they were with was like an outright liar and very deceptive energy okay betrayed them in some way man and you both you both went through some heavy duty stuff with somebody from the past okay um the person they were with um if it was a female uh, the female tried to wear the the pants tried to, to be it was there's a lot energy of dictatorship okay <laughs> somebody male or female that it was dictatorship it was a partnership that was definitely uneven okay it wasn't mutual okay and i feel like your person is really just trying to get back in control and in command of their own life here so you when you meet this person virgo i feel like it feels promising because you're gonna have like a common bond here um i don't feel an energy of relying too heavily on each other but i do feel like the common bond between you is going to be something that you're both going to be able to um find solace in one another which as i said will deepen the relationship as time goes by this feels almost like this feels almost like a test of your ability to slowly open yourself back up it feels like a very healing energy because that star card was there it feels like a very healing energy let me take a look at you okay so here you are king of pentacles right taking charge of your own life um being very wise with your investments you're i see you becoming very stable or you are now um resourceful full of abundance doing what you can for yourself and your family if you have a family very focused on self at this time okay now the queen of cups is here so this is a match so cancer scorpio piscean energy um so you're also but as an energy you're also embracing your feelings and your emotions you're nurturing yourself as well right i kind of feel like you're taking care of business as well as taking care of your emotional self you know you're working hard you're you know you're, get, you're getting your money in the bank you're you're stable you're stabilizing yourself or you will be but you're also um really in tune with how you feel which is great because that means that you're definitely healing areas of your life that really needed that healing but again four pentacles you're you're still you're quite guarded your heart is quite guarded as it should be because you went through you know a little bit of shell shock maybe ptsd or cptsd you know um like i was saying in the first part of the reading recovering from a very toxic relationship so you're a bit um you're quite possessive of your stuff 
and the things that you're going to be acquiring in your life. You're very possessive of your stability. You know, you are very greedy. You want long-term security and you are not willing to just give it to anybody or give yourself up to just anybody. I think you've learned some really hard lessons here um, because you went in with such an open heart, um, which, you know, you, you leave yourself vulnerable for attack and somebody must have got into your life and took advantage of that. So you're definitely like locking that heart up of yours or at least carrying a shield to deflect anybody that comes in and tries to take away um, what's rightfully yours, which is like your heart and your mind, right? So I don't feel like it's bad at all i just feel like you're being much more selective now and you'll know as time goes by yeah look at you you're just like you're in fight mode you really are like you're defending yourself and what you're doing in your life your path and as i was saying you're guarded a little bit i feel like you're going to connect with somebody okay it could be another it could be an earth sign you may be connecting um this person could be an Aries. Uh, they could be a Sagittarius. This is somebody new, okay? Not the past person. Um, it could also be an air sign or water. So we pretty much have like all the signs here. But, yep, the Wheel of Fortune. Like you're making change, baby. You are just on your way. Everything is going to work out for you. Everything's in your favor. Um, as soon as you drop that shit stain that you were dealing with, or if you have, and that, you know, it, the real test is when the person reaches out to you again, um, your strength and resolve to not respond, to not tap out, to just keep moving forward, to go, to go the distance, to keep following through with what you're following through. I don't see you having any blinders on. Um, if you know that this person was toxic and then they reach out again, and they start saying stuff and they catch you off guard some of you might just be saying you so okay well maybe this time it'll work you got to stop doing that you have to stop doing that because as i always say words don't mean shit bloody stumps are what you want okay and if that's not happening keep it moving if you're not getting that keep it moving let's get some clarifying cards here let's take a look this wheel of fortune luck is on your side here okay Luck is on your side. Things are going to start changing big time for you. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is. One big coin of change here. A turning point. Show me this Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Boldness. Queen of Wands. Confidence. Self-assuredness. Knowing who the F you are. That's what's going to get you through leveling yourself up even higher and telling yourself, I, I deserve better. I don't deserve this. Show me this seven of wands. Okay. Yep. You're defending yourself. Why? Because you know there are new, op new and better opportunities out there for you. Okay. You know it. You know it. There, there just has to be. If there isn't, it's because maybe you're still holding on to a past situation. All right. Um, and if you've let go and nothing's happened yet, you just got to give it time. That's all. All right. Four of Pentacles. Yep. Joyce, you're holding on to your sunshine and your happiness. I'm walking on sunshine. Ha, ha. So here you are. You're like, you know what? I'm taking that sun. I'm grabbing up that warmth and those positive vibes and I'm keeping it all to myself. This is what you're doing you know, and you are, I also want to say you're not exposing yourself in the way you used to. Okay. You're being much more protective of yourself before you used to be like that child on that horse, just like, ah, hey, everybody, everybody's welcome. And then like, you weren't, <laughs> you weren't filtering. You're filtering now. Oh, you're filtering. You're like, hold on a minute. You want to come into my castle? The queen and the king does not let just anybody in through um, the castle doors. No, no, no. They have to be vetted a little bit here. So you've really had this connection or relationship that you were in in the past 
with someone who was very toxic, you've really learned some hardcore lessons and you've really leveled up. You've matured in so many ways at this point. It's like, it's unbelievable. All right, so you have two queens and two kings here, king of wands. I'm telling you, everybody's showing up in this reading. All right, some of you are talking to somebody about getting a new car or relocating. Somebody might be helping you at this time. Moving forward, um, you have a very strong supporter here. You also have, like, you have a male and a female um, or some friends or some people around you who are supporting you. Some of you might, like I said, be relocating or moving or getting into a better position in your life right now based on whatever you have been through. Um, some of you, this could be a relationship with your car salesperson. <laughs> they just said... <laughs> Your car salesperson it's like, I don't know, you want to go out on a date? You want to go have coffee? They start talking and, and it, somehow the doors start opening. <laughs> it's crazy. Or maybe it's like you're the moving person, you know, the person who rents you a U-Haul truck or something to do with a vehicle. Something to do with a vehicle. Okay. Um, all right. I feel inclined to do the messages of love oracle um i'm also going to tell you when i feel like you may meet this person if you haven't already but what are the messages of love oracle cards in regards to this new person what does virgo need to know with someone they're getting to know or will be getting to know oh that wanted to flip out but it didn't what does Virgo need to know? It's someone they may be getting to know in March. Okay, addiction. Addiction is affecting this relationship. Okay, that's okay. That just means that because of everything that I said here in relation to the messages, um, there, you are in a relationship that was very addicting. Oh, they just said... Um, so your person reaching out to you um, because they're addicted to you, the past person, or because of the codependency or the fact that you left, um, that's their addiction will still keep affecting. That might be why you're not dropping your guard right away um, or saying anything right away because some of you, when you meet this new person, you're still going to have someone from before reaching out to you. Now listen, this doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a family member. Um, or a friend, or some, it's just somebody um, that was, it could have been a toxic family member, or abusive family member, or somebody, or, or, or a boss, or, or a friend, or who knows, like it could be anybody, but it's still going to be affecting the, this new relationship, um, so you could be trying to get to know somebody, and then that past per person is reaching out to you, and giving you the, the heebie-jeebies, um, I don't feel like it's something to do with this new person here, okay? Um, and they, too, will be having somebody else still trying to reach out to them. I don't see, I don't see, I see the person that you meet as being a potential romantic partner, but I don't feel like you come together that way at first. See, like, I don't, I don't feel, I feel like maybe you guys meet by accident or it's like kismet or it's under other circumstances, okay? And and it just develops, it just goes from there. Leap of faith, it's safe to make the move you're considering with this person. So some of you, you know, I do feel like you're gonna be connecting with this person, they'll be connecting with you. You both have, you're like mirror each other. Um, you both may want to um, make a move towards each other a little bit later down the line, but also you're both going through major changes. It's almost as if this person, are telling me, <clears throat> was somewhere out there in the world. This is your other half. This person was experiencing the very same things you were experiencing or are, and <clears throat> through a series of events, that happen individually in your lives, you somehow are led to each other, okay? And this leading to each other is what 
starts a whole new cycle in both of your lives but together it's almost like you were both living parallel lives but maybe didn't know each other um, maybe you did <clears throat> but there's something about you're both traveling along parallel roads and then a series of events or some things happen along the road that have you both kind of meet up in the middle further down the line and that's when this energy happens this feels more like it's spirit induced it's like divine timing here i don't feel like this is something where you know you're on a dating site or you're purposely out dating and this person either this feels more like lines of you're brought together okay passion try something you've never done before see friendship friendship leading to more so this does not feel like it starts romantic this feels like it starts as friends but you find that common bond as friends and then the romance begins to develop so there's it's beautiful because the foundation gets built okay you can be completely open with this person vulnerability this is going to come where you at some point both of you are going to be able to open up to one another as a foundation the trust gets built between you you start sharing things about what you went through and that's how you're getting to know each other and things begin to deepen i love 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 the way this reading is turning out stability this relationship can stand the test of time i feel like you guys have been waiting for this reading you have been waiting for this reading <laughs> okay patience everything will unfold in divine timing this is it so you're being asked to have faith here and to trust okay finances financial challenges will be affecting this connection obviously i feel like it's more on their side because they're i don't feel like this person is going to come in and try to be dependent on you or a rebound or anything like that um i feel like they will have financial challenges um, because they're going through something maybe you have some but they will have some <clears throat> financial challenges i don't feel like this person is gonna ask you for money or ask you to give them a place to stay or do anything like that i just feel like um it's it's going to be more along the lines of like the relationship is not going to be able to progress quickly which i feel like is okay with you because this person is trying to get themselves more financially stable remember i said they're just rebuilding they're carving their life out all over again um trying to figure out you know um moving relocating whatever they need to do for themselves you're kind of in the same boat or thinking about that put away the computer working less will help strengthen this relationship okay so some of you might wind up working with this person as well maybe you meet them at work um and you start talking on the computer a lot but um the advice here is to put that computer away and get in front of each other to strengthen the bond Okay, retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. That's what I was saying. Put those computers away and get together. And go have coffee. Walk through the park. Go do something fun together. All right, let me get some Chinese messages here. And then I'm going to get in to see when you might meet this person. If you've already met them, that's not. this won't be for you. But um, when this person might be coming along. All right, let's see. Give me some signs here. Oh, the pig pig is here again <laughs> i feel like the pig is always there wasn't it there like six times okay tiger you're the tiger if you don't know now this could be you as well all right so just know this could be the person coming in um new person or it is you um, I want to say something. It's not the past person because I'm not asking about them. All right? Um, because that is dead in the water and you're out of there. If you're still trying to have hope or you're hoping that the narcissist that you were with in the past is going to change and things are going to be different, that, it, that would be the exception to the damn rule. And don't think you're special or unique that that's going to happen. Get that out of your head. It's just take the L realize that it's done there's nothing you can do to fix that and walk away from that okay focus on your future focus on your present and look to the future 
Okay. Um, if you don't know what your Chinese sign is, just look up the year of your birth. Just look it up on Google. Chinese year of birth signs. Um, and if you know who this person is, look theirs up too. That way you'll know because I don't know them offhand. I know a few. Okay, we have a dog, year of the dog. And we have an ox, year of the ox. I'm going to get one more. And we have a snake, year of the snake. Okay. Wait, they just said get one. Wait, nope, they want a couple more. Okay, we already have the dog. We have the monkey. Dragon. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have the rooster, year of the rooster. And nine is going to be the lucky number. The horse, year of the horse. Okay, all right, let's see. Also, you can look up whatever your Chinese zodiac sign is. You can look up to see who you're compatible with. Every Ch every Chinese sign, like I'm a year of the rooster. I'm compatible with the dragon, the snake, and the ox. Okay, so you can look up and see who you're compatible with as well. Let's take a look at dates and see when this person will be coming in for you, Virgo. If they haven't already. And other dates and other messages. Okay. All right. For some of you, you'll meet this person in May. Um, initials S as in Sam and the initial V as in Victoria or victory. Okay. Okay. We have the initials R, initials G. Um, some of you, I'm hearing August. There'll be a connection in August. So, all right. Uh, they're just telling me to stop with that. So between May and August. So let's see if we can figure out, let's pinpoint the exact month. Oh no, they said, don't do that. They said, some of you are going to meet this person in May, some of you in August. Okay, we're leaving it there. Let's go into the rest of your messages. Um, now, somebody has a black cat with yellowish green eyes. And then I did see like a quick peek of, of blue eyes. I don't know if cats have blue eyes. So maybe somebody has blue eyes. Um, defining features here what I'm looking for all right somebody's got a butterfly wind chime I just heard and they just put it up outside somewhere okay we have all right somebody lives in Arizona we also have also have a little Asian girl um, a pathway with some beautiful rhodo rhododendrons I'm hearing and uh, lilies white lilies maybe somebody's name is Lily or Lillian also um, the first of the month could be somebody's birthday okay so we also have the eighth um, we also have they're giving me the year 1987 a significant year for somebody. Um, hmm. Fireworks. Fireworks. I'm seeing fireworks going off. A lot of fireworks. Beautiful. Um, we have the letter C. The 16th. We also have the 5th. Um, we also have, okay, wait, there was another message. Somebody is weighing, I don't know, like potatoes or in a grocery store or you're in the produce section. Maybe you're weighing 
your food or something, or maybe you're weighing your food at home. Um, I'm seeing weighing um, like like a scale, like um, you know how they have those scales. You weigh your your potatoes <laughs> in the in the grocery section. I don't know what else do you weigh. Cucumbers? Mm. Weighing some food. Let me just keep it there. Weighing some food. Okay, we have the letter P. Oh, they just said kingpin. They just gave me that, that phrase, kingpin. Wasn't that a movie? Kingpin. Just hearing kingpin. I don't know what that means. Kingpin. Um, spilled milk. Spilled milk. Clean up the spilled milk. There's spilled milk. Or watch out for the spilled milk. Or don't cry over spilled milk. Um, the twelfth. Also the fourth. Okay, the 29th. Hmm. And I'm getting September 19th. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, UH, UH. I don't know if those, it's like uh, 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 uh. Maybe somebody writes that or somebody's like uh, or somebody texted that in response to some, asked, somebody asked someone a question and I see somebody replying with uh, 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 H, H, H. <laughs> I don't know who says that. Carney. Just heard that name. Carney. Car C A R N I E. Carney? Is that a name? I'm not sure. Carney. Uh the twenty eighth they're giving me. The twenty eighth. Oh, and then they just said the eighteenth. I just heard high tide. Something at high tide. Okay, the 13th. Um, okay, they're saying Aztec. Uh, the 23rd. Ooh, um, they just said G7 Summit. What the hell does that mean? G7. Summit or G7? You sunk my battleship. I don't know. G7. Um, there's going to be, um, somebody's going to be going, I mean, this sounds so cliche, but this person and you, I see you both attending a fireworks show or a fireworks celebration together. Okay. Um, it's like a night out together, some kind of, or maybe you already did that with somebody, um, some type of fireworks celebration I'm picking up okay the 21st and okay I'm getting the letter E somebody's name starts with an E There's a J. I'm getting an L. And the letter N as in Narnia. I don't know. N. I don't know what the military code word is for N. Maybe somebody knows N. Nickel. Nickelback? Somebody like Nickelback? 
I used to like them. Nickelback or okay. What does this person look like? All right, I'm gonna tell you right now. Blonde hair, white platinum blonde hair. Beautiful white blonde hair or blonde, just blonde hair. Somebody's coming in here with, or somebody has. But no, I was asking who what this person looks like. Blonde hair, um, and I will say like a very nice chest, male or female, very, very nice chest. Like that's a standout feature, <laughs> I know. Keep it, keep it clean, you all. Um, and also, All right, so this is gonna sound crazy. Okay, the person with blonde hair, very light blonde hair and a, a beautiful chest, right? Um, there's another person also here, very short brown hair, clean cut, plain. Um, this person's name might be Tom. I'm hearing Tom. Clean cut, well shaven, young, or young, youthful looking, um, but clean, like a very, short haircut i'm also seeing someone um with dark brown hair okay um, very dark almost blackish dark chocolate brown hair and this person wears their hair up a lot okay so maybe that's a female and um it's almost like very well kept. Oh, it doesn't wear their hair down below the shoulders. The blonde hair is like beach summertime type of blonde hair flowing kind of energy. It's kind of like a Baywatch beachy kind of look with the blonde hair kind of thing. Um, one person, the blonde person is, it comes across as like very freeing and just loves to be on the water. The the person with the um, short, clean cut, shaven, short brown hair um, is kind of royalish. Do you know what I mean? Like very reserved and formal. And the one with the hair up um, in like a bun, or very dark blackish brown hair. Um, always wears the hair up. Um, this is this is a female who um, it's the library look, you know, very studious during the day, but at night, row. Okay, so we have the two the two types of females, and then I want to see. Okay, and the other male. So there's a couple of descriptions here. There's another male who is um, so this male, this other male carries around a satchel. That's all I'm saying. They carry a satchel around with them. It's like a man purse, <laughs> but it's like they're always kind of um, traveling. Um, they have like a satchel or a bag that they keep with them. Maybe it's a backpack. Um, it, it's, it's short, light brown hair, but it's kind of longish. That's what I'm picking up there. That's crazy. Those must just, I haven't done anything like that before. So let's get some charms and see what the charm messages are here for you guys. Oh, wow. Right out of the, right out of the gate. We have a strawberry. Okay. Maybe you're eating a strawberry right now. Um, are you like strawberries? Very red, sweet, delicious, juicy strawberry. Eating some strawberries, somebody. Share. Let's see. Okay. Oh, we have a heart of love. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Sly Fox. You know that Sly Fox. I was talking about that in the two readings ago. Uh, this this is a reminder. <laughs> Don't be caught off guard, Virgo. Because your person is going to try and come back. That Sly Fox. Okay? It's going to try and make their way back into your life. Nobody can have you. Be careful. <laughs> I mean, unless you want that. I mean, it's up to you. You know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But if you're not, if you don't get caught off guard... Okay, so you also have a key, a heart lock, it feels like, a heart 
Lock and key. Key to my heart. Love. Hmm. Do you have a heart locket that you wear, Virgo? Maybe you're going to give it back or put it away. Or maybe it's of a loved one that's passed. Or someone. Somebody has a, a like a, a heart locket, I'm feeling. An heirloom. Oh, that one fell. We're not going to grab that because when they go down like that, it means nothing to me. Okay, we've got cherries. Strawberries and cherries. What the heck? Okay. And you also have a um, $100 bill here. So there's money. Folded money. Interesting. Maybe you're going to find that somewhere. Um, you have money coming to you. A good deal of... A good deal of um, like I said, you had the Wheel of Fortune there, so you might come into some luck or some financial luck. There's money coming here. Maybe you're going to lend somebody some money or somebody's going to lend it to you. Um, so yeah, you could be eating cherries. You could be eating strawberries. Um, this, somebody has a, um, okay, they're just giving me. One way you're going to recognize whoever your person is coming in, they have an air freshener in their car and it smells like a fruity, either tropical or like a strawberry scent or maybe cherry scent. I personally cannot do cherries. I do not like the taste of cherries, but it's fruity and it's sweet. So if you meet somebody, uh, I mean, like a lot of people have that in their car, but if you meet somebody new and you just get a sense as a person, they're saying that you'll pick up that scent, like either in their car or wherever. Um, something around them where there's a fruity smell and it's not ketones. It's a, it's not there. Oh, that's disgusting. It's a fruity smell. Maybe it's like a perfume or something. Here comes that lock again. I'm telling you, oh boy. We've got two locks here with a, with a heart. Maybe this is a tattoo you have, like two lock keys and a heart. Um, but listen, okay, <laughs> Virgo, this is going to, like, the person from the past is, is holding a lock, or is holding a key to your heart, and the new person will as well. And they're both going to try and use it, but it's going to be up to you to decide who gets to that's really what I feel like the strongest message is here because you're still healing from a broken heart you're still healing from someone that you truly loved who maybe deceived you or did something that made you feel like you weren't good enough and made you feel worse after being with them it was very contradictory um, feeling like this person really loved you and then they treated you a particular way and that really screwed you up so don't beat yourself up if your heart still yearns in some way for them. That's all right. That's normal. Um, it's that if you're aware that this was unhealthy, it would not be healthy or normal for you to go back. But sometimes it happens. Um, but I think it's okay for you to give somebody else a chance so that you at least get an opportunity to feel and experience a healthy relationship so you at least will have something to compare it with because i feel like you're going to build a very strong bond with somebody starting out as friendship first and it will just grow from there and that's the best that's like the best way all right so i'm just going to point out these three things that fell but i'm not going to go into detail about them we have a lollipop or a child's rattle and it is showing up here as white okay um it feels mostly like a maybe a coconut or a vanilla or a coconut maybe i was gonna say that twice but a coconut um <laughs> lollipop coconut flavor um oh uh wait like an island coconut mango flavor lollipop <laughs> Um, there's also a butterfly, very beautiful butterfly, and we also have a star with a marquee. Okay, 
So this could have something to do with like maybe a movie or uh, someone's in the spotlight, a star with a marquee, um, a highlight reel of your life is all about healing. I mean, the energy is really cool. you got a lot of cool charms, um, but I really feel like the strongest message here for you, Virgo, is, you know, don't tap out. <laughs> don't go back. Give somebody else a chance to see how things can work out. Um, you know, you're definitely on a path of healing from something that was very difficult. And I hope that you keep going with that. I hope that you manage to um, get that real love in your life that you deserve. Um, but also, more importantly, I feel to tell you that don't go looking for love. Love has to be created between two people, right? Love is created, right? Um, it's what you bring to the table. It's what the other person brings to the table that you both, you know, create together that you can both enjoy. So when you go at it from that standpoint, um, you won't be disappointed because you're putting your your energy in and you're matching with somebody else. If you're bringing stuff to the table and the only thing another person is bringing to the table is their or nothing, okay, then that's not really investing in the relationship. So I'm going to leave you with that, you know, my little house of Virgoisms. I hope you guys enjoy the reading. I'm going to be back on Sunday. Um, so if you're new to my channel, definitely think about joining. You can become a member for $9.99 a month and you'll be able to join us on Sundays to get a personal mini reading. You just pop in the chat. Um, make sure you hit your notification bell, you guys. And not only hit notification, hit the bell, click all here on YouTube, but also enable it in your phone so that you'll know when I go live and you'll know when I'm here for the Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, you guys, love you. Have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful week, a wonderful month of the rest of March, and I will see you all very soon. Take care.